So I am here with probably my two favorite players, not including Netta because I'm wearing her T-shirt. But I was a big First Five fan, and I felt like that was an unpopular thing to be on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Why? Wh why do you guys think that like you became the villains? Because I didn't really see you do anything that was that villainous. Um, I think it's just kind of a, when you see somebody in power and and they're doing something in the game, you root for the underdog kind of thing. You want them to kind of rise up and, and take power back. And I feel like that's mostly what it was because I know things were said and done in the house, but for the most part, I didn't think that we were overly villainous. Um, but yeah, I think it was more so just kind of a, they needed a power upset. Andrew, does Canada have the wrong idea of you? Well, I would say so. Uh, at the same time, I feel that uh, in the show, the way that it was edited, uh, the parts that they did show were accurate to who I am. I'm, you know, an aggressive personality. I'm loud. I'm in your face. Uh, but it's impossible to show all of the layers and all of the complexity that every individual person has um, in a show when there's a limited amount of time on each person. So does Canada have the, the Canada doesn't have the full picture is, is basically the, the situation. You know, the decision, Kenny, to sort of hide your sexuality, I, I want to talk a little bit about the thought process prior to making that decision. Mm -hmm. I felt like you did it because you wanted to sort of you know, play the guys, play the girls. Exactly. Is that what it was? Well, yeah, absolutely. I, f I feel like if I went in the house and I told them right off the bat that I was gay, it was basically shutting down any sort of showmance or anything that could possibly bring me forward in the game. So it's not that I was planning on it to happen. I just didn't want to shut any doors, you know, going in there. So I just left it open. So it was more so just uh, to give myself um, more options in the game. You know, Andrew, when I think about the game, the people that I like to watch are the ones that go in there, balls out, try to win, make alliances early. I'm not really a big fan of like melting pot alliances that come together only because the other people did it first. Does that sort of bother you that like it sort of became about the sloppy seconds, an alliance that like was put together by circumstance rather than, you know, an actual alliance from the top? Yeah, of course it bothers me. It's something that it's going to bother me um, and every one of the first five because we weren't the winners and we didn't make it to the end. So um, there's a bit of frustration there. I like the fact that we went in, uh, like you said, balls to the wall and, uh, and, and tried to win and tried our hardest and, and created a strategy. And I, got part of, I, I got part of a game that I, I didn't really understand fully before going in and, and came out with a great understanding um, and I had an opportunity and I'm glad I took the opportunity I did to form that alliance and it's formed friends outside of the house too so a little annoyed that uh, it worked out the way that it did but happy for everybody uh, uh, for, happy for John and happy for everybody who made it as far as it did you know I, I get into arguments with people all the time when I ask them to define what is a good big brother player and I feel like a good big brother player is one that masters the psychology and the social element you know the one that doesn't need to win anything sort of like Netta yeah. um, but is there an argument to be made about people that win competitions that actually have the guts to go out there and make decisions um, well yeah absolutely I mean like that's the type of player that I am I, I went in there I was super competitive I wanted to win and, and uh, that's the way I wanted to play the game like looking back on it it might not have been the best because of the people in the in the house or whatever but yeah I feel like almost like competition threats kind of get like this bad rep that they need to get them out first immediately but really you look at someone like Netta who wasn't doing any of those things and, and she ended up you know going way farther than us so it's I think there's kind of like a, a mis misconception that that's the type of people you need to get out immediately when really you have these sleepers uh, that are, you know, underneath you kind of thing. And well, not underneath me, but oh, you know, you know what I mean? But well, yeah, no, that's not what I meant. But you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, they're the people the that radar. under the radar, not underneath me, sorry. Um, but those are the people that you kind of have to worry about. And so for advice to anyone is get out the quiet people, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't go for the guys with beards and tattoos, all right? <laughs> go for the quiet people. Um, so I have a very tough question for you, Andrew. Final three. It's you, this man, and Allison, and you just won HOH. It's time to cut one. Who do you cut? You don't be pressured by the fact that he's sitting right here. Be pressured. <laughs> uh, Kenny is my best friend, uh, but at the same time, I think he would make the same move. Uh, he knows that it would be the way. Kenny is a popular guy on the outside. Ken Canada loves him. It was clear Canada put me up on the block uh, ahead of him. So know, with that knowledge and knowing, um, you know, that, I'd have to make a, a sly move like John did with Netta. 
and I'd hope that at the end of it, he would understand. But I think from the beginning too, it would be hard to say because at the beginning, I had a solid final two with Kenny and I'm pretty much only making that decision based on how everything went down last night. Had we been in here right to the end, I probably would have stuck to my word like I did with everything else in the game and took, and took my brother. And if I had to second, settle for second, then that would be the way that it went. And final question for you, Kenny, is I felt like John had a big problem with you and I didn't really understand it. You know, it, it almost became like, I want Kenny out and then I can play this game. Can you explain a little bit more about that? Because I felt like you guys would connect right away. Well, we kind of did connect right away and it was like this weird, like I, I said multiple times, like I wish John had walked in with us first and had been in our alliance. So I had this kind of thing on the go with John and we had this bond and this relationship and this alliance on the side, but I, I felt like... My relationship with Andrew kind of made him feel like an outsider with me, so he almost turned, like, game aside, almost personal vendetta, like, mm -hmm. you know what, you're friends with Andrew, so you got to go. So like, it, he chose, like he chose me over him. Yeah, basically, like, and he told people. Like a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, but emotion, but he told people in the house, he was like, I feel like I'm taking a back seat to Kenny and Andrew's relationship kind of thing. So it was almost like it was a personal vendetta that he just wanted me gone, and then he can continue on. But, like, I approached him before I left, and well, a little while before I left, and I was like, you know what, like, we could do some serious damage here if me and Sarah and you and Netta link up like we can do some damage and I know that that well I mean he ended up winning so he, right. he made the right decision yeah. I guess but um, I, I feel like that would have been a really great game move and I, I feel like the the personal kind of feelings he had towards me kind of clouded his, his uh, vision towards that and finally for you Andrew I know you're really good at accents can you like take the mic and give me an example of one of your best um, well, one of my favorite accents would be uh, Bane from the movie Bane. So perhaps you're wondering why Canada evicted me. I mean, really, I'm not that bad a guy. Let's be serious. Just watch these interviews and you'll understand. Anyways, I still love you, Canada. Does that make me Bat Mertz? I guess Bat yeah. Mertz. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, awesome. Thank you so Cheers. much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah. Appreciate it.